such a special Horn Hangout for you today. I'm sitting all by myself here in Berlin, and in Chicago, it's a huge party. And um, as you can see, this party is taking place right now. Hey, you guys. Dale, you there? Are you ready? <laughs> as you know, today is the big does. It's a, Yes, exactly. You can hold court. <laughs> Dale, tell us what's going on and what all these people are doing there. Well, Muti and the administration and the orchestra wanted to give me a, a send-off concert, a, uh, an appreciation concert. I told them and it wasn't necessary. And they said, yes, it is. We're going to do it. And, <coughs> excuse me, we've been planning this now since February. I didn't, I don't know much of what's what's going on except what I'm supposed to do. I just get led around by the nose and in this concert I'm I'm only conducting, not playing. I thought that might be a little too emotional to, to do it. I had to make a decision. Yeah. So. How many horn players are actually there? Because all you horn hangout friends out there, you're going to meet everyone who's in the room, um, but we have you have a whole load of other players there today I think as well. In excess of 60. Wow. Not bad. Well, we could we could have a hangout for like five hours and get everybody on. But you guys, um, we all we'll see all you guys in a second. So thanks for coming in and saying hi. You you may take your places. <laughs> I feel a little bit like a, a, a ringmaster today. We've never done a horn hangout with so many people That's before. Okay. So this is this is all very spontaneous. Um, you you know Dave and Odo, Dave fourth horn, Odo assistant first and utility. Both of you, thank you so much for joining us too. You've been part of Dale's section for many years. And Dave, huge thank you to you for organizing all this. You, you've been fantastic. We've made, a, we've made a hangout, a monster out of you since the Low Horn Hangout, haven't we? Great. Well, this is such a fun day for us. The first thing I have to do is give a ceremonial box of Kleenex to Dale. So here's the Kleenex. He's going to need. <laughs> I think you're going to need them, Dale, today, because we've got a lot of a lot of people who have, want to say a lot of nice things about you. And what's going on on the chat? We have people from the states. We have people from Sweden. We have people from Italy. We have people all over, and they are writing in their tributes as we wow. speak. And you'll be getting a copy of this as soon as the as soon as the hangouts finish, so you can see where everybody is watching from, because there's loads of them out there. So you guys get your tributes down. Dale will be reading them all. So please. Please get writing. So, um, Dale, uh, how are you feeling today? Stupid question, but ask uh, me anyway. It is uh, such of a, rain, a range of emotions. It's d difficult to, to describe. It's obviously the, the general timing of this in my life is bittersweet. But and I have so many wonderful things to look forward to. Why do you I, say it's bittersweet? I'm going to tell you. Because I have a new wife of eight months. Is she life. there? She want to come and say hi? She's right over here. Ten come and say hi, Giovanna. <laughs> so, it's ten, mu ten months, sorry. Oh. <laughs> Not a good counter. You want to come up and say hi? Come and say hi. This is Giovanna Grassi from Gusago, which is near. Hello. Hello. Lovely to see uh, you. Brescia, Italy. And we have uh, a home together there. My home. Her home. <laughs> Partly mine now, too. And uh, as she has part ownership in my house here in Chicago, and together we're going to have a house of some kind in Bloomington. We have to establish wow. residence. Yeah. And, uh, so Giovanna is here for this week and uh, going to play tonight in the, in the group. Uh, so... So that's just Great. one, one so that's, thing. I that's forward. the good thing. That's the good thing about this is that means you'll have more time to spend with her. But I don't believe for a minute that you are going to stop and just do nothing. You're not going to go and do the gardening, are you? No. I am graduating from the Chicago Symphony. But I am not retiring from music. Hooray. I'm, I'm getting, Hooray out there. <laughs> believing it or not, I'm getting invitations to, you know, for master classes, to teach at conservatories, and conducting opportunities. Fantastic. They're already coming in. I have to decide what I, what I can do based upon how much time we need to be together. Yeah. And then the whatever I will be doing in Indiana, and I'm still teaching four students here at Roosevelt for as long as the foreseeable future, as long as I can. 
I don't know how much I can run around and do all of this, but you know, the body. It sounds, it sounds tiring already. Giovanna, thank you so much. Thanks for joining us. See yeah. you later. Have a great concert. But Dale, today. Italiani. See you later. Miss Italiani. Ah, good. Yeah, there's some people. <laughs> Saluti a cornisti italiani. Grazie, grazie. Ciao, ciao. But Dale, today is more about um, what you have done and what you've given to the horn world um, over the past 48 years. You've been principal horn, is that right? It's 47 and a half at this point. Okay, 47 and a half. Um, Odo, tell me, when you started in the, in the Chicago Symphony, um, you, 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 know, you started playing with this huge legend. What are your, some of your, your best memories? Of, hey, there's Sue back there as well. Hi. Hey, great to see you. Thanks for joining us. Otto's going to tell us his favorite memory. If you have one, please come out with yours. We only want the clean ones, though, here. None uh, of the drunken after-concert stories today. <laughs> well, uh, I think the one I can remember is actually playing where you are right now at the Berlin Phil. Um, I think we started our tour uh, with Bruckner 4, and it was the tour that started in September, so we hadn't played all summer at all. And so I've been practicing the assistant part for Bruckner 4, which is basically the first horn part. And, um, you know, in case Dale wasn't going to be able to play, you know, in a daydream situation, I'd have to play it. But Nightmare uh, piece for the first horn not to show up. <laughs> right. Well, he, did, he was there, but I have been practicing this part all summer long, thinking about how Dale would sound, how Dale would want to phrase things. And as we all know, Dale has an unmistakable sound and character in his playing. That's pretty, you know, you can't um, reproduce that. So I was playing it all summer long, and then the very first rehearsal, the very first note that we did was the the first horn solo, and I think my mouth just, you know, fell off. I, I couldn't believe how amazing it sounded because I, I had heard my own sound all summer long, and then I heard Dale's sound, and just thought to myself, well, good thing he's there, good thing he's healthy, and he's going to play that. And I, I've never heard him. Uh, miss that note. I've never heard him play it uh, less than amazing. So I, I have missed it before, but <laughs> well, I've never even tried it. I didn't think. Actually, um, the first rehearsal we ever did it with Wallenstein, he gave me a beat instead of a very simple beat like that. He gave me a beat like that, ooh. and I missed it out in the concert. Ooh. He called me in and apologized for conducting it that way. I couldn't <laughs> believe that a conductor would, would apologize for him. <laughs> Well, yeah, I'm sure he learned a lesson out of that one. So you're not, how would you give the, the downbeat for when you're going to conduct Bruckner 4? Don't even look at the horn. No. <laughs> you know, Simon, Simon Rattle says horn players are like stuntmen, and you shouldn't eyeball them before they're about to fall to certain death, or possible <laughs> death. <laughs> so, He's so, not um, wrong. <laughs> well, interestingly enough, at one rehearsal we had, uh, Dale did not show up for Bruckner 4. It was with uh, Von Dahnen. And I did have to play just a rehearsal on uh, on first horn, which was it was a few years ago. <laughs> I hope he paid lots of beers for the for for you for doing that. That's that's a nightmare. I remember when I was in Chicago and I got to play with you guys for that month. I'll never forget. It was such a highlight for me. And I was bumping you for for Chike Five, Dale, and it was out at Ravinia. And I bumping everybody in America means assistant. Assistant, sorry, sorry, bumping, assistant, sorry, sorry, assistant. Um, and uh, and the, the strings were playing their chords, and I was sure you'd gone to sleep. I was sure you'd gone to sleep. And I, you were just so peaceful, and I was counting, and I thought, he's not going to play. He's not going to play. He's not going to play. And at the last second, you picked up your horn, and I, was, uh, I almost, my heart almost stopped. <laughs> Everybody, um, many of these stories are going to get romanticized, I think. Well, isn't that, that's what today's all about. We're putting, we're putting everything out there, how we remember it to be, and in, in 50 years, it'll be the biggest legends ever. <laughs> Odo, I know you've got to go. Anything else that you, um, that you can well, share about Dale? I'm just going to say their own story. I just wanted to tell Dale, thank you for everything. He's taught me almost everything I know on the horn and in music, and he's been a wonderful figure for us. Um, he's, he's like a family member, so Aww. we love him. <laughs> Oh, thanks, Odo. So thanks. Goodbye, for everybody in the world of horn. Bye-bye. <laughs> Have fun. See you later. Have a great time tonight at the concert. Thanks. Thanks, thanks. Dave, you've been in the orchestra for a while, too. 
Yeah, I, uh, I feel so lucky to have played uh, these last 18 years with Dale, and I have uh, been, you know, witnessing his incredible original artistry all these years. Uh, the the first part of the 20th century is very well documented with recordings, and I can say as fact that no one sounded like Dale uh, before he uh, joined the Chicago Symphony. And once he uh, started on the job, and the world uh, got to know his playing, he was a sensation. And uh, you, another way to measure his original artistry is that so many of his horn players have emulated his style and his sound and have tried to uh, do what he does. That's a really sign of a great originality. Um, I was very fortunate to take horn lessons with Dale. It was an amazing combination of, of him focusing on fundamentals and pointing out some less than helpful habits. He always talked about smooth, fluid lines. Uh, so they were really tremendously helpful lessons, and then I would go downtown and hear Dale play these stunning performances of the Galanta dances, Mahler one, Bruckner seven. So it was at the same time such incredible inspiration, and I've had the chance to sit in the section with him. And um, after I played with Dale a couple of years, I said to Dale, "Dale, you never seem worried about anything." And he he looked me in the eye and said, "David, I'm a very good actor." <laughs> well, all I can say is yes, you, you are, because uh, um, he always approaches uh, the job, whether it be a single phrase or a piece of music or an entire concert, uh, thinking, what are the possibilities here? I never sense from Dale what could go wrong. It's more about what are the possibilities to make beautiful music. So it really has been an incredible treat for me to get to work with him. Oh, thank you, Dave. You're going to need your own Kleenexes now, I have the feeling. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> thank you, Dave. And, and Dan, Dan Gingrich, how absolutely fantastic to see you. Thanks for joining us. Hi, Sarah. You're part, you're part of this big extravaganza. Can tell us about the arrangement you've done for tonight. Oh, uh, we're doing the uh, Mozart uh, third concerto for horn, 447. And uh, I just thought we would use it as a vehicle for uh, featuring the entire horn section. And since there are five of us without Dale, uh, I, we thought we'd uh, just chop it up into pieces and we're covering the wind parts also. So the audience will hear plenty of horn sonority. And who's conducting? There is a conductor. <laughs> <laughs> yes, they're very on Dale. I knew that. I just thought I thought we put it out there. That's that's going to be amazing. I hope someone's filming this. Uh, maybe under the radar. I'm under sure. the radar. Okay. Well, I'm sure there'll be some mobile phones out there. Dan, what can you tell? Can you what can you tell us about Dale? You you two have been colleagues for a long time. We have. It's been my privilege to uh, play in the same section with Dale for the bulk of my life. And uh, unfortunately for Dale, it's been, uh, he's spent the majority of his life playing with me too. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> um, actually, I, I didn't want to come and listen to the sound of my own voice. I brought a picture from the old days. Now, have you, have you seen? We have, we have the picture. It's a good time to show the picture because somebody in the picture has just joined us, Norm Schweikert. You spent over 30 years as, da as Dale's second horn. Can, can, we, can you see it up on, on screen now, the photo? Can you see it? Yes, it, yeah. it is there. Tell us what you're seeing. Tell us what we are seeing. What a hairdo. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so you remember that night? This had to be in Tokyo, correct? And we did the Konzertstück, and Herseth must have done something uh, along with it because Seiji is introducing us, and uh, many in the brass section. And I asked, is that you? You all that black hair? Yes. You don't remember the second half of the program? No. Hell <laughs> 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 oh, yes. So we played the Konzertstück. And boy, was I thinner then. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, you had a lot of hair as well, by the looks of things. Yeah. There was another celebration that night. <laughs> with Seiji? Was that the one we did with Larson? With, with Seiji? I don't know. I, I, I thought you'd remember how many restaurants we went to. Oh, that's oh right. yes. yes. We went restaurant, restaurant. restaurant hopping. Yeah. Seiji just wanted to go different places. It's fantastic. Wow. Yeah, How many did you hit that night? At least three. 
at least three you can remember. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> yeah. wow. Dan, thank you so much for bringing that in. That's that's really incredible. I don't know if it's still up on the screen or not. I can't really tell from it here. Is. It, is. it still is. Okay. So thanks, Tim. You can um, we my wonderful webmaster Tim, who everybody knows um, in the Horn world. He's staying up very late. It's four four fifteen in the morning. And uh, thank you so much, Tim. We'll get him on and thank him from all of us at the end. Um, Dan, thank you for bringing that in. That's an amazingly historical photo. Well, yes, right. <laughs> How often did you guys play the concert stick together? Mm. Well, five or six times at least. Yeah, at least mm -hmm. many times. Yeah. Half a dozen times. Norm, welcome. Welcome, thank you. This is your very first horn hangout. I think we're going to have to have you on one of your own. You have so many fantastic stories to tell. How many years exactly? It was way over 30, wasn't it? Were you, were you Dale's second horn? Well, I uh, played assistant to him from 1971 to 75. And then I became second horn until 98, and then I retired. And then I come back, you know, uh, until 06 and played uh, extra and substitute in the section, you know, when they do is eight horns for something, Elden Laban or Bruckner Seven and all this stuff. And uh, it was it was wonderful. My what's goodness. it like what's it like as a second horn to Dale Clevenger? I mean I, I when I was with you guys I did I did uh, assistant, um, not bumping. Um, I never actually played second to Dale. Do you have to count a lot? Well yes, of course you have to count a lot. <laughs> you have to <laughs> You have to uh, pay attention to what his style is and uh, how long he holds certain notes, and you just become a second Dale. <laughs> he was like flypaper. <laughs> <laughs> they are stick to it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, right. All the time. We, you guys we, were, you're an amazing. I rarely team. ever talked about what we did, we just did. You know, I probably drove him crazy with my different. Things each each concert, but uh, he was. Did he drive you crazy, Norm? No, he didn't drive me crazy, <laughs> not at all. I was in Rochester, uh, Rochester Philharmonic, you know, before that, 1955 to, to 66, and played different horn parts there with uh, Vern Reynolds and Morris Seacon, and that was a tremendous uh, experience too. And then I went to Interlochen, and was there five years. And uh, then I came here to uh, in 71. So what are, what are your tips going to be for retirement for Dale? Oh, <laughs> keep busy. Stay busy. Find things to do. No problem. Write a book. <laughs> you know, I've written Write a book. A book. I've written that a book, would be great. The Horns of Valhalla, Saga of the Writer Brothers. And they were very important horn players from Bavaria in the 1880s. And uh, Zaver, the younger brother, came to join the Boston Symphony as first horn. And then his brother came, Josef, three years later in 89 and joined the Met Opera as first horn. And they moved around. Uh, Josef was the very first horn player in the Philadelphia Orchestra, 1900, 1901. And they so, just... So you're saying Dale should write a book about this. I think he should write a book, a book about you guys. No, well, he can write about anything yeah. he wants. Norman got the history of... of the very earliest horn playing in America, which basically came from Germany, yeah. and and uh, Czechoslovakia was Bruno Yannicki was a little bit later. Yeah, right, right. I, I think I think we'll do another horn hangout on that because that's totally fascinating, and I think we're gonna get you guys on a horn hangout about that. You, Dale, you're gonna have so much time now. We can do horn hangouts every week. Um, oh. But <laughs> but we have so many people waiting to talk to you, and I'm on a little bit of a schedule right now because there's. Where's Dan gone? I wanted to thank him for coming by. You disappeared, Dan. Where'd You're you go? Welcome. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Thank you for coming. Now, Dale, the wonders of modern technology means that there's someone who wanted to be here today who can't be. It's like when you get an Oscar, you know, and, and, and someone gives the, the speech. We have someone who's rehearsing in Maryland right now who wanted to be there. Now, Tim, I, I wonder if you can, you can get us in there right now. Um, there's somebody there who's uh, doing a rehearsal of Heldenleben and would just like to say hello. Now, if this works, I'm just going to blab until uh, I see this little window open. And if we're lucky, it'll open and you will see somebody you know and love. Da, 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 da. <laughs> and if it doesn't happen, then I'll probably feel very stupid. But um, we'll do the best. Hey, John. <laughs> A trumpet player is on the hangout. Hey. <laughs> 
<laughs> Good to see you. <laughs> um, so until we until we um, we get you, whoever this might be on the camera, um, the next we'll have a couple more guests. Um, Greg and Jeff, where are you guys? This is a little bit. It's a little. <laughs> Hello. It's a little bit like the school mistress here. It's a, it's a, ah, okay. Well, you guys just have to. Um, oh, look I think, at that. Here we are. Dale. Hi, Bill. <laughs> How are you doing? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry I couldn't be there live, but I wouldn't miss this for a million, a million uh, bucks. Yeah, I just yes. have to. It's great to be you. here and honor you. I know you'd be here. I had a blast in Houston about a month and a half ago. Oh, made my and, life. And I hope so, to go back again. My son will be there with you. I'll studying. take good care of him. Yeah, great. <laughs> but uh, I just wanted to tell everyone who's listening uh, how much you've meant to me. Uh, for those of you who don't know, I've been championing this man since I was 10 years old. I first heard him play when I was 10, and uh, I'd only played the horn about three weeks or four weeks then, and I went up to him, and he said, uh, let me check your embouchure. And so he put his mouthpiece on my lips, and... From then on, he said, if you practice, maybe someday you'll study with me, and someday you'll be a very fine horn player. And I did just that. I, uh, I practiced and did everything he said. I've, I've always tried to do what he wants because he has been and always shall be my hero. And uh, I, just, uh, I just can't thank you enough for the legacy you've created for all of us, for the inspiration you've provided, for the artistry you've shown, and uh, the, the only way I can think uh, to show you musically is to take the entire brass section from the NOI and have them come here and give you a proper touche. So, guys, wow. here we go. <laughs> Bravo. <laughs> we were in the middle of, of coaching a Heldon. They've been sectional here, and uh, we were thrilled to be a part of your day. And I can't wait to hear more about it and just uh, visit with you again in the future. Tell the brass section that I said, do what you tell them. All right, I'll do that. Thank you. Bill, thank you so much for joining us, and thank you for your bra thanks. section. Hey, guys, thanks so much for joining in. It was great thanks to see you. Thanks to Aaron this, for setting this up. Have a great rehearsal. Okay. See you later. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye, -bye. Bye. <laughs> Isn't that amazing, the wonders of modern technology? Amazing. Amazing. Do you give tushes in Germany? We do give. Tush means something's totally different in America, doesn't it? <laughs> Well, I know that Tush is probably rear end in uh, in German, but uh, I don't know the, the origin of the word. I mean, uh, when, when they say it here, it means something very, very special, rather spontaneous, which is usually decided by the principal brass. I don't do know if it comes any yep. from anybody else, but uh, we have a Tush in D dur. We always have a tush in D. I don't know why we ever, we always do it in D, but it's always in D. Probably we always do it in E flat. Oh, really? Okay. Okay. Well, that's good to know. <laughs> Greg, welcome. Greg Roos, the second horn, um, LA Philharmonic. Great to see you. Um, you were a student of Dale's, right? I was. Um, I have to say, it started off. Uh, I owe him uh, all the, uh, the recognition for making me play the yeah, horn. Yeah. I remember hearing that Tchaikovsky's Fifth Symphony with a uh, recording with him with. With Seiji Zawa, and uh, it just moved me. I thought that's that's what I want to sound like. That's who I want to um, meet someday. And it seemed like it just these travels through time uh, finally got me up to Chicago to study with him privately and um, work through. Played in the Civic Orchestra and just kept you know trying to emulate you and and uh, always kind of go back to what I learned. And and uh, um, I'd say some of the most amazing times were when I actually got to sit and play assistant him in the Chicago Symphony and uh, that was worth a hundred lessons just to sit there and listen to him play and watch him produce this wonderful music and it's just um, always with me and never never forget. Thanks. And you've come all the way from LA for today, right? I wouldn't, I wouldn't miss it. Wouldn't miss it. <laughs> Amazing. Thanks. Thanks. And Jeff Nelson? Next to Dale, hey, good to see you again. You're a, a favorite face in our horn hangout land. Um, 
Fearless <laughs> Jeff. Right, yes. And I mean, trying to think of a story about Dale, I'm, when I first met him as a Canadian, I couldn't believe I was near him as a hero my whole life. And I, I was having trouble starting notes and playing in any way and was very stuck. And I just remember him getting me into musical thought dictates technique and into the music and into things way better. And that's where all my fearless stuff is, is based on, is that things. And it came from Dale. So, and now we and get you guys, to... You guys are going to be working together a lot now. Yes, yeah. it's all at work. We get to mess with, I mean, uh, teach and guide young minds. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I got to work with Jesse for four years. Great Jesse's honor. there too. We'll get Jesse on in a minute too. Yeah. yeah. Um, it's just so great. It's just must. It must be an amazing feeling today in in Chicago Hall, Symphony Hall. I just. I wish I could be there. And there's someone else who wishes who he could be there. He may be asleep because it's very very late where he is. But somebody else is waiting to say hi to Dale if he's not asleep. Um, Tim, you in there? Yeah. Can we invite the next guest in, uh, who would also like to say hi and and thank you to Dale for for how he. He inspired him. Um, are we out there somewhere? Well, this could take a few seconds. Okay, here we go. Let's see who's here. <laughs> um, fearless Jeff. Oh, right, yes. And I mean, trying to think of a story about Dale. When I first met him as a Canadian, I couldn't believe that. Hey, guys. J Jonathan is on. He's watching on the, on the website. He has to turn off the website. If you turn off the website, Jonathan. Ah! Else in here. He's muted. Oh wait, am I am I okay now? Yes, you're on. Oh, there you go. Hey, Dale. Come on, ma. Go genki desu ka? To temo genki desu. Genki desu ka? Ii desu ne. How are you? I, I got to, I got to tell Jonathan I got to introduce you because you haven't been on a horn hangout. Jonathan Hamill yeah. is principal uh, horn in the Tokyo Symphony Orchestra, and Jonathan Hamill is um, responsible for all touring horn players in Tokyo. Is that true? <laughs> you were responsible for our entertainment. Uh, for most for most <laughs> touring groups, for sure. He knows lessons also... extremely well. Yes, yeah, so you've gone to a lot of nice places, huh? Plenty. Yeah. <laughs> How are you, my friend? Great. How are you doing? Amazing. Yeah, this is pretty pretty incredible. Well, you know, I, what's that? I say it is. It's, uh, I've never experienced this before. I know, this is completely like, just as Sarah's been saying, like modern technology at its best. All these people coming in and, and it's just truly wild. But So congratulations. Uh, mm -hmm. An unbelievable career. And like you said earlier, it's really kind of sad. I mean, I can't believe that you're not going to be the principal horn of the Chicago Symphony from now on. But but on, a, on another note, on another side, it's it's amazing this this opportunity here uh, going to teach at uh, University of Indiana. And it sounds like hopefully you're going to have some chances to come back to Japan and do some more master classes and teaching and playing. And hopefully, I'm really hoping I can get you to do some type of conducting at some point over here with either the orchestra or or uh, a big ensemble or whatever I can do, but I'm definitely looking forward to it. But uh, okay. Much easier yeah, to so, come back and play. <laughs> <laughs> That's a little bit of pressure. I don't, know, I don't know if I'll be up for that. But So anyway, there's lots of people that want to talk to you, so I just wanted to say hello and congratulations and uh, all the best. How Wonderful. would you say that in Japanese? Uh, oh, yes, yeah, I, I would say, Omedeto gozaimasu, kore kara mo gambate kudasai. And uh, as, <laughs> yes, it's 3:30 a.m. right here, here right now. So I got a, uh, and I have a little rehearsal in the morning. So I, I better think about heading off. But what, what uh, happened to I your don't... hair, John? What happened to your hair? We had a trial hangout earlier on, earlier on in the evening, and Jonathan looked totally different. Yeah, I know. The, my my invite just came so soon. I didn't have a chance to put on the wig, but I was gonna pop up in this. Oh. <laughs> and, and let you try to guess who I was at first, and then the, the thing came too fast, so I didn't have a chance to do it. But I know, oh, darn. <laughs> <laughs> wig, wig or no wig, you knew who I was. Hair so today, anyway, gone is, tomorrow. What's that? Hair today, gone tomorrow. Sorry, that's a Stefan Yatsirsky uh, quote. <laughs> nice one. <laughs> uh, anyway, as, as in closing here, as Bill Verbulen said, you inspired me from a little kid. The first time I heard your Mozart Horton Concerto tape. We didn't have CDs in that time. Uh, it changed my life. It was. It. I mean, I have really 
if I wouldn't have heard that tape and I wouldn't have had my first lessons with you in Florida, thanks to Carolyn Wall, who I know you know very well, uh, at like age 15, uh, I would have nothing right now. I mean, it totally changed my life. And as Bill said, I just echo what he said, that you're absolutely my hero. And uh, yeah, looking forward to continued friendship through the years. So good luck with everything and hope to see you here in Japan or in Indiana or maybe Italy. Italia. Thank you. And for all horn players out there, call Jonathan if you're in Tokyo. He's the best, yes. the best entertainment manager ever. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Have a great one. Arigato gozaimasu. Arigato. Bye bye. Sleep well, Jonathan. Thanks for joining us. Thank Thanks. you. Thank you. Um, hey, you guys, we've got all these people on the chat. Dale, you're going to be amazed when you see who's talking, who, who's chatting. Fergus has just uh, joined in. Fergus is watching. He said to send you his love. And Martin Owen, who's been playing first horn here, he's practicing in the main hall because we have an audition in a few days. And um, he's just said to send you all his best and also to say hi to Greg, who he hasn't seen for 12 years. So Greg, mm -hmm. hi for Martin Owen. <laughs> Martin Owen, okay. Yeah. Uh, Mike, Llewellyn has joined us. Hello, Sarah. Hi, great to meet you. We haven't met before. Yeah, that's the first. Thanks. <laughs> You've come all the way from Fort Wayne today. Yes. Yes, I drove in this morning. Six hours. I think I did it in four. <laughs> it's not that far. <laughs> tell, us, tell us about your history with Dale. Well, I had the, the privilege of first meeting him, I think, in the early 80s, maybe 1982-83. And um, I had already finished my undergraduate training at a conservatory in Cleveland, the Cleveland Institute of Music, where your colleague Stefan went. Yeah. And... Um, had a quite a good fascination with Mr. Clevenger's musicianship and style of playing because at some auditions I was going to around then, all of his students were doing really well. And I thought, I've got to get a piece of that. So I called him up and uh, set up a lesson and it ended up being a very long day where he got me into a CSO rehearsal to listen. And then um, I think your original intent was to teach me right afterwards downstairs at Orchestra Hall but um, the, uh, I think you had a recording session along with Mr. Schweiker. And so uh, the three of us went to the recording session and I kind of hid in the corner of the booth and just observed them for a while. And then together, Mr. Clevenger and I went up to his home on the North Shore of Chicago and I got a three hour lesson from him. So all total, that day was just really a, a life changing event for me. Completely flipped my world upside down and opened my mind up to many new things about music and sound and production on the instrument and efficiency and it's been pretty much a model for me my whole life as a performer since then. Oh, that's fantastic. And yeah. you've, you've kept in touch ever since and came well, with... Yeah, over the, the subsequent years, nearly after that, I uh, continued lessons on a commuting basis and then eventually decided to move here and pursue studies uh, full time and I auditioned and got into Civic where uh, David Griffin was a member, and I got to play with David, and also Bob Lauver from the Pittsburgh Symphony was uh, in the section at the time, so we had a roaring good time. I bet. That sounds like quite a fun section. It was great, <laughs> yeah, and weekly sectionals with Mr. Clevenger also um, going through. You still call him Mr. Clevenger after all these years. Um, it's it's necessary. <laughs> so anyhow, but then I had a, a great year and a half here, but uh, out of that, I was able to produce well enough and win a job and then leave the nest. And that's what I did. But ever since then, I've been really in, you know, empowered by him and really feeling motivated to play up to his ideals and standards that he passed on to me. So, oh, thank you so I'm much. Great. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you so much for coming. I just think this is so yeah. moving. I, I need the Kleenex. Dale, can you pass me a Kleenex, please? Okay. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, now, I, I do have, where's Eric? Eric is somewhere in there. Eric wanted to say hi too, didn't he? Eric? Thank you, Mike. Thank you, Sarah. Thanks. <laughs> So we've got Eric Rusk and Todd Bowermaster. Welcome, you guys. Eric, first time we've met. Really nice to meet you. I'm a total, a in total awe of all these amazing horn players there today. Great to meet you. Hi, Todd. Yeah, two of them. Yeah, but all, it's, Todd it's really incredible. One, one year before Eric. That's right. He was a freshman at Northwestern. And then and the next year uh, came in this young whippersnapper, Eric. And 
a lot of people, a lot of horn players were a bit saddened about how well he played. I mean, this is life, it happens that way, you know, and things go up and down and they change, uh, you know, change is, is the rule of the day. But uh, eventually they both uh, became, you know, friends and, uh, you know, co colleagues and <laughs> students and in, uh, in civic, we were in civic together, yeah, yep. And then they both, uh, I, I'm sure they played extra with the orchestra at times, but, uh, and both of them have made fantastic careers of their own uh, in various places, and, and both of them have done themselves and me proud. Uh, I, I just, I sit back in, in wonder at, at what some of these people, my students, have done. You know, and, and I'm I'm grateful if I had any part of that. But they they also work very very hard on their so own. Guys, so guys, did Dale have a little part in the fact that you turned out such great horn players by any chance? Just a little. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Todd, tell us. Well, you know, I I got to Northwestern uh, as a freshman, and I was very fortunate. I got to study with Dale uh, early on, um, and. Just thinking back to that first year, I was lucky enough to get in the Civic Orchestra, and uh, as a result of that, got to play extra with the orchestra. And when I think back, I was lucky I was so young and I didn't know what I was doing, because when I think now about an 18-year-old playing with the Chicago Symphony, it was way over my head, but I didn't know any better. So uh, it was just a phenomenal experience. And when I, I think about um, the sectionals that Dale led, um, you know, I wish everyone could have a, a horn sectionals with Dale because that's how I learned how to play in a section. You know, because I'm a, I play third horn, so I'm in the section. And I oftentimes play with a lot of great horn players who I think if they'd only had civic sectionals with Dale. Um, I was so fortunate. And, you know, being with Eric, I haven't seen Eric in, I think, 25 years. Um, he looks exactly the same. Um, but, uh, but, you know, that was the other really amazing thing about being in Northwestern at that time was that I came in as a freshman, I, you know, I, I did pretty well, and I thought I was doing all right, and then Eric came along. <laughs> and uh, you were much better than you thought. <laughs> no, no, not at all. Um, but there, was just, there were just so many great players, and we all learned from each other, and we all emulated Dale. You know, one of Dale's big teaching things is imitation, and so that kind of led to us doing Dale imitations, too, and that was always fun. <laughs> um, but it was just mean, a really magical Do you mean the horn, or do you mean the accent? Both. Both. <laughs> yeah. Go on. Absolutely. Give us a go. Go on. I want to hear it. I want to hear it. Uh, I don't have the resonance that Dale has. But I, can I tell one quick story? Please. Um, uh, there was an old story that Dale used to tell us about how, actually, I think Mr. Schweikert fell ill right before Mahler II performance. And Dale went up into the gallery at Orchestra Hall looking for someone to play assistant. And so uh, I think Mark Guy was there. Yeah. And, and Dale said, got your horn? And uh, Mark had his horn with him. He said, "Come on down. We'll suit you." Up. <laughs> Come on and, down. <laughs> and so, so you know, eagerly, all of us horn players in Civic brought our horns up to the gallery, <laughs> hoping that the same thing might happen again. <laughs> but, but the worst part was the story that evolved it through us Northwestern students. Once Eric arrived, was that Dale would come up to the gallery and say, "Got your horn." Give it to Rusk. <laughs> <laughs> Eric, is this true? I don't remember that. <laughs> <laughs> Eric, is this true or is this another le legendary um, story? No, no. You know, I mean, it's funny, you know, listening to all these people, you know, talk about you. It's just, you know, and I've been thinking about it so much, you know, I mean, this is where I grew up. I mean, this is, you know, Chicago's my home. And as a kid, you know, this is where I came. This is where I learned what, you know, what a horn was. And I was thinking about, you know, if I could kind of just sum it up, and I was just thinking, you know, excitement. You know, I remember being a kid, coming, my parents driving me up, you know, driving me up north from LaGrange, and, you know, and sitting outside your house for the first time, and just being, I mean, I was almost unglued. I was like so, I just thought it was, you know, I couldn't believe where I was. And then I ended up at school with you, and then I heard you playing, you know, you know on the stage. At, you know, you first played for me when you were 14. I'm almost 16 now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you know, it's just, you know, it's, I mean, and everybody that's played in the Chicago Symphony, the horn players, then, you know, Mr. Schweiker, Mr. Olberg, and, you know, 
Mr. Gingrich, all of you guys, I mean, everyone's taught me how to play the instrument. Everyone's taught me, you know, what to do. You know, I mean, he was said, you know, I remember when the first time he said, you know, he was talking about, you know, the singer routine. And he said, you know, look, he said, I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what, I did it every day. And he said, you can do it, you can not do it, I don't really care. You do what you're going to do. He said, it worked for me. And I was like, wow, you know what, if it works for him. And, you know, and I hear his every time, you know, I'm teaching a lesson or when I'm practicing, I hear his voice inside my head all the time. And that's, you know, that's a true testament to like, you know, whatever career I have, whatever tiny little, you know, life I've carved out on the horn, I owe to you. So thank you. Oh, thank you. That's very <laughs> oh, thank you, Eric. Thanks, Todd. It's so great, Todd, that you made it as well. You weren't sure if you're going to make it on time and that you guys see each other for, since 20, what's it, 25 years? That's really quite yeah, incredible, just, especially yeah. as you're only 16. <laughs> Todd looks even cuter. Oh, <laughs> 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 Speaking of cute guys, I have another guest for you, Dale, who's far away, who wants to be here. I don't know who's coming to sit with you now. Hey, thanks. Thanks, you guys, for that. That's really fantastic. There's one more person waiting to say hello um, who can't be there with you today, but someone you know and love very well, and uh, well, you love and know very well and love very much, um, and I hope he's going to be on the other end of this call as soon as Tim has got him in. Um, the wonders of modern technology. The connection wasn't so great when we tried this earlier on, but I think here we go. Ah. Look who's here. <laughs> Caro mio. <laughs> I hope this is well, we, There he is, Luca Benucci. Hello, Dale. <laughs> How are you doing? How are you doing? Very well. And you? And you? Dove sei? Sono, sono a Cesena, a Cesena. La scuola, sì. Yeah. Uh, okay. I was watching the whole, uh, the whole interview, the whole show, and, uh, you know, seeing so many home players and so many friends. I want to say hello to everyone, and I see in the back also Hector. <laughs> yes, I need that too. Hi, Hector. <laughs> so it's amazing. Uh, hi, Sara. Ciao, Bella. Ciao, Luca. <laughs> Thank you for joining us. Thank you to you. Tell us. So, yeah, what, what, what I would like to say that, uh, you know, everybody was telling uh, some stories about Dale and uh, probably people know um, so many things about him. I only want to say that um, I love him and uh, always has been like a brother, like a father. And uh, everybody knows how big and how good person and musician he is. So I'm very emotional. I'm getting emotional. And I want to say that um, I'm... No, we, would, we will not miss your playing. We will not miss your teaching. You are still, and I'm, I'm so happy that so many people is um, celebrating with you this moment. And, uh, and we all here in Cesena, all my students are with me, and uh, we all uh, love you. That's it. We Grazie. all love you. Grazie. Grazie. For all you did for the home playing, and as a human being, for me personally, very much. Thank you, Dave. Veramente. Thank you. So, thank that's you, it. Luca. That's that's really fantastic. I thank know. I know. Too. Italy is Dale's second home now, and that's why it was very important for yeah. me to get Luca to be part of this. I think you even cancelled a concert for tonight, right? Yeah, I did. I did a concert. I mean, I was uh, supposed to play in Florence and ask your colleagues, please. I can miss that. So I'm here in Cesena with uh, Derek. So he set up all this uh, technology because I'm not that good. Thank you, Derek. But, Thank uh, you. No, see you, Dale, and the little window. Mwah! Grande. That's it. I hope I you enjoy the whole day. Grazie, you, grazie. you just start the day, and it's going to be a long day today, right? <laughs> Fantastic. It's going to be a long day, a day Dale. That's, that's why I don't want to, um, to go on too long. Um, you would not believe what's going on on the chat. I mean, we've got, we've got Tom Redman from the Halley Orchestra writing. We've got, um, you've got friends from everywhere around. Fergus is, is busy. Fergus says, ciao, Luca, by the way. Um, ciao, Fergus. We've got people <laughs> writing you really from everywhere. Um, and, and I will get this to you, Dale, as soon as possible, and then you can read how many people out there are loving you. The Sarajevo Horn section have said hello and send you all ah. their best thanks. I, I mean, know. it's really, really quite great. Seattle Symphony, Jeff Fair is watching. Um, Lisa Ford um, is watching. It's really uh, incredible. So, um, Amazing. yeah. So you will, you will see that. Yeah, Lisa, it's, it's just, Dale, you have moved so many people. Um, one person who's still left to say hi, I think you probably inspired more than anyone because it's your son, Jesse. Where's Jesse? Ah. 
Grande Jesse. Hey Jesse, great to see you again. Nice to see you, Sarah. How can the son of Dale Clevenger be a horn player as well and not be in total awe? I admire you so much. You've got the most inspiring man as your teacher and as your father. It's just incredible. Well, it's it's definitely a very um, unique experience to have Superman as your father. <laughs> and uh, once I figure out exactly how to do it, I'll, I'll let you know. Um, but he's taught me the most important lessons um, in my life. Um, that um, in developing um, your horn playing, there's there's athletic components and there's artistic components, and there are many different mixtures of those. But somehow, um, my father has developed a process that seems to be 100% artistic. Uh, every calisthenic, everything that he does on the horn is based off an expression and a sound that he wants to make. So when you hear him play, you're glimpsing through a window into his soul. He's sharing that with you. And he has taught me that that is what being an artist is, is being willing to stand on stage in front of thousands of people and share the deepest and most beautiful part of yourself. And that's what I want to do. <laughs> I don't think there's a dry eye out there in Horn Hangout land right now. The chat has suddenly gone very quiet. I think everyone's reaching for the Kleenex. Jesse, that's so moving. Thank you. That really is. Dale, you're gone. Uh, how are you yeah. doing there? Oh, oh, God. God. <laughs> Dale, yeah. uh, is this enough sentimental stuff for you today? Should we let you go? Though, I mean, you, 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 you are so loved and so respected in the horn world and in the music world in general. You've given so much of yourself, um, a true artist in all, on, on all counts. I'm so grateful to what I learned uh, with you in that short time. I was in Chicago, but you've always been a, a, a mentor and I've, I know you've always been there. And whenever we see each other, it's like yesterday. Um, and that's a sign of a true friend as well. And I think everyone in that room and everyone who's going to be on stage with you tonight, um, they're not really saying goodbye. They're just celebrating you. Yeah. I, I, as I told you, I, I, this, is, this is a first time for me. I, I don't really know. In a way, I don't know how to feel. I, you know, it's, it's emotional. It's very, very happy. I'm so happy to see friends from all over the world, one player friends and otherwise. And I'm extremely proud of this young man next to me. Who, he will play solo horn somewhere in time as he continues to get his act together. And uh, <laughs> 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 give me a little bit of time on He's that doing one. it. He's, he's doing it. And uh, it, you know, I, I think that Iblansky Otto's father must have felt oh, he, very much the same way. Luca, we see you. You're fine. I can see you. Luca was getting worried that he was out of here. You're in there, Luca. We got you. We can see you. <laughs> I, I, I think of, of Wilhelm Lansky Otto and, and Ib. I mean, they played together, and they're, they were magnificent teachers, uh, uh, especially Wilhelm. And I met them in like 1967 or 8 in this hall playing together and uh, and then think of Dennis Brain and his uncle and his I think his father was also a horn Aubrey. player. Yeah. Uh, Aubrey, so, not Aubrey. 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 <laughs> but I don't know who else I don't know who else had a, a father and a son relationship. I'm sure there are probably some. It's very yeah. special. It really is very special. And I think I really admire you, Jesse, for going for it because that's no, those are not uh, small boots to wear, as they say here in Germany. Uh, <laughs> I have to take off my father cap and sometimes be a teacher cap. You know, I I'm, bet. That must also suck sometimes, Jesse, right? No, no, no. It's perfectly wonderful. Yeah. All the time. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, uh, we, we, we thank you very much, Sarah, for. And David putting this together. Well, David, it's been fantastic. There's just one little group of people that still have to say hello to you. Okay. Um, De we made a tiny little video for you. Des Jesse, stay there. Stay, stay, stay. It's only 10 seconds long. Dale, mm -hmm. this is, if, if Tim can work this go right now. Um, they couldn't be here with the orchestra is free today. So we put this. on your retirement from the Berlin Philharmonic Horn section. Come and visit us soon in Berlin. 
All the best. Best wishes. Hi. All the best on your retirement. And we get it again. Corn section. Come and visit us soon. Okay. So you get the idea. It's in a permanent loop. You can watch it. Thank you, Stefan and Sarah and Jerry. Uh, they all send their best. And hey, you guys, we're, everyone in the room, I'd love to say goodbye to you all. Everyone back there, we'd all love to say goodbye to you. Can you come around to the camera? Thank you. Thank you so, so much. Luca, thank you for joining us. Child, look, there's a... <laughs> I think someone... I can't hear Luca, I'm afraid. I don't know quite why, but... Um, um, Dave, where are you? Dave, you have been a, such a star for setting all this up. Thank you. Ciao thank a tutti. You so Ah. Bye bye. Ciao, Ben. Ciao. Ciao, Luca. Ciao, Luca. Ciao, ciao, ciao. Thanks for coming. Grazie a voi. Enjoy. And, and to all of you in the room, we're going offline as soon as. Um, where is Tim? Tim has to. You guys got to meet Tim. Where is he? Tim, can we see you? He's this black box. There he is. There this is go. Tim. We put this all together. It's five o'clock in the morning in Melbourne. Grande <laughs> Tim. Tim is changing the horn world. Tim is really, he's put all this, everything that I do online, I couldn't have done it without Tim. I, we've known each other for a year and the most crazy things have been happening in the horn world. Hangouts here and there, live masterclasses. And it's only, it's going to carry on like that. I hope all you guys can, can join in with it all. It's an amazing way of, of reaching people. Does Tim play horn? No, he plays a tuba. Ah. <laughs> Tim, you you're muted. I can't hear you. You're muted. Oh, okay. We'll use, we'll use sign language. <laughs> okay. Great to see you anyway. And to all of you, have a fantastic concert. I feel like the loneliest horn player out there at the moment, you know, because there's, there's nobody here. Everyone's gone home. And I want to come and play for you and party with you tonight. <laughs> oh, that would be nice. Send me some photos, please. Okay. 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 Uh, there will be so plenty. Dale, this is your tribute. Um, you see how many people love you and respect you and admire you, and everyone's there for you tonight, not only in Chicago, but all around the world. Um, we love you. Thank you for everything you've done, and thanks for this. Thanks for being on this Hangout today. Thank you very much. And see you soon. Bye-bye, everybody. Bye. Bye.